and welcome to another video from Planet Papa. And before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell. And once again, thank you for all the views, the support. Tonight's video is, I guess you could say like a survival guide, uh, what to do or what not to do to survive a horror movie. So let's get started, shall we? Okay. Number five, if you're in the market to buy a house and you're limited on funds and you come across this unbelievable mansion or this beautiful, beautiful home that you just can't understand of how it's so dirt cheap or why they're just what they just want to give it away. Chances are you might be getting some baggage coming along with that house that you don't necessarily want. Could be a demon, could be a ghost. Could be some deranged monster that's hidden away in the basement for centuries. But long story short, don't buy a house that looks too good to be true. Number four, if you're going camping or you're going out into the woods or you're going to explore like some old house or uh, some old abandoned mental institution or maybe you're just kind of power out. Get a goddamn decent flashlight. Stop trying to use your, your the flashlight on your phone or these little rinky-dink flashlights. Get a damn flashlight where it will light up the entire state of Texas. Come on, man. This is your life. Get a goddamn decent flashlight. And for God's sakes, make sure you got new batteries in it. Not where you're halfway through down the dark tunnel of, of uh, no return and all of a sudden you're shaking the flashlight because guess what? The battery's died. Come on, get smart. Number three, if you are stupid enough to go explore a supposed haunted house or a haunted mental institution or some rumored haunted building where it could be or maybe not be haunted, don't make jokes. Don't try to act cool in front of that pretty girl or your friends and how you're not scared and this is ridiculous and you're a bunch there, everybody's a bunch of chickens and there's no such thing as ghosts. And goddamn, don't challenge the ghost saying, come get me or here I am, where are you? If there's one thing that we've learned in haunted house movies and ghost movies, ghosts don't have a sense of humor and more importantly you piss them off you're not gonna make friends with them again later so once again don't make jokes and don't challenge they don't have sense of humor they don't have senses of humor and they don't forget number two don't be a klutz get some like sense of balance and if you can't, don't put yourself in a situation where you're getting chased by someone like Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers, who doesn't move beyond a, a fast power walk, and you're going to have a 35, 40 second head start on them, and you're going to trip over three logs, four rocks, fall in a ditch, and then crawl 30 feet, screaming, no, no, please stop, 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 before he finally catches up to you and skewers you. If that happens, sorry. You probably deserve to get skewered. Learn how to walk without falling down. Learn how to walk and chew gum at the same time. Honorable mention, remember these couple of magic words. Fuck this shit, I'm out. If three people have died already and two people are missing, fuck this shit, I'm out. Leave, get out. If your friends, you can't find them, chances are they're already dead. Hell, you'll probably make some more friends down the road. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And if you're the one that drove, A, keep the keys with you at all times. Don't put them on the table. Don't put them on the dresser. Don't put them on the porch. Keep them in your pocket. And for God's sakes, on your keychain, try not to have 75 keys. One key for the car, open it. Get your ass in and utter, fuck this shit, I'm out. Guys, did you hear that noise? 
I better go investigate. And as my TikTok video suggested, stop being a dumbass and investigating the noises. Stop being a dumbass. Chances are you're going to find out what made that noise. And it's not going to end up well for you. If four people are dead, three people are missing, and you don't know where your best friend or your dog Buster is, stop trying to be cool in front of the girls and say, I better go investigate what that noise was. I'll be right back. You're not going to be right back. Like I said, chances are you're going to find out what made that noise and it's not going to end up well for you. You're going to get skewered and then when they're doing at the end of the movie, the montage of all the dead bodies showing up, chances are you're going to be the guy wrapped up in the rope on the tree with an arrow in your head. Stop investigating the noises and stop being a dumbass. Well, everybody, those are my simple rules to survive a horror film. If I missed anything, let me know. Let me know what you think should be on that list. And once again, don't forget, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, share the videos with your friends, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time.